Tragic incident in Bosnia. Man livestreams ex-wife's murder and commits further acts of violence. According to police and media reports, a man in Bosnia shot and killed his ex-wife while live-streaming the horrifying act on Instagram. The incident took place in Gradakak, a town in northeastern Bosnia, where the assailant also injured three other individuals before ultimately taking his own life. The police in Tuzla confirmed this sequence of events in a statement. The live-streamed murder shocked the people of Bosnia, a country still recovering from the devastating war in the 1990s and grappling with widespread violence against women. After killing his ex-wife, the perpetrator continued his rampage through the streets of Gradakak, shooting and killing a man and his son. He also injured a police officer, as well as a man and a woman at different locations in the town. The motive behind the shootings has not yet been determined, and officials have not provided any immediate insights. Local media, however, reported that the ex-wife had previously reported threats and violence from her partner, who was identified as Nerman Sulemanovic, a resident of Gradakak with a criminal record. Prior to the attacks, the perpetrator posted a video on Instagram, announcing that viewers would witness a live murder. The video then shows him shooting a woman in the forehead, while the cry of a child can be heard in the background. The video was later removed from Instagram. As the police pursued him, the assailant live-streamed two more videos on Instagram, claiming to have shot at least two other individuals while on the run. Shockingly, approximately 12,000 people watched the live-streamed murder, and the video received 126 likes. The tragic events have sparked outrage and concern in Bosnia. Savid Hurtik, the Bosnian human rights minister, described the incident as a huge shame for our society. Hurtik highlighted that 19 women were victims of femicide in 2020 and 2021, emphasizing the urgent need for collective action to combat violence against women. Ingrid McDonald, the UN's resident coordinator in Bosnia, expressed her shock and condemned the live-streamed murder as one of many severe cases of gender-based violence in the country. McDonald called for immediate collective action and urged authorities to prioritize the eradication of femicide. Bosnia continues to grapple with tensions and ethnic divisions long after the war that occurred between 1992 and 1995, which claimed the lives of over 100,000 people and displaced millions.